Lawyer knocks Lagos State Governor aide Joe Ibokwe for attacking him over comment on Tenembo 2023 presidential election. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to be the first to get notified when we drop news update. Please click on the no notification bell. Thank you. Ibuke claimed the lawyer mocked President Muhammad Buhari and a chieftain of APC as Sewaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu in his interview. Well, 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 there is nobody who do not know that Joe Ibuke is actually what they call his so in love, like his so love drunken with APC, APC national leader, and of course the president. If you want to, you know, you want somebody to quarrel with your board and you just, you know, just go to maybe go to somewhere close to his page and, you know, share with him, you know, your, your ideas, how this government has not been doing well. Ah, you're going to be engaged. <laughs> that is the truth. You'll be engaged. So he's so love drunken that he does not see any wrong in what they are doing. In fact, he claims that this administration has quite done enough and their best well let's see the matter went by this time around you don't go by matter <laughs> this is in detail please stay with us legal practitioner kayode ajilo has fired back as special advisor to governor Babajide someone of Lagos state on drainage and water resources joe ibukwe over statement credited to him on his social media page a jealous said the interpretation of a statement by Bukwe is false and do not represent the content and context of his interview. Apparently, Pa Ibukwe must have watched another version of the interview to have warranted such erroneous misrepresentation of my stances, which were simple and clear enough to understand, he said. Ibukwe had on Thursday reacted to China's television politics today. We Ajelo analyzed governance under the present administration and the chances of a ruling or progressive Congress in the 2023 presidential election. According to a thread of posts on his Facebook page, Ibukwe claimed the lawyer mocks President Muhammad Buhari and a chieftain of the APC, Asewaje Bola Ahmed Tunembu, in his interview. Ajala, who disregarded the claims that the clip of his interview on politics today was still available on Channel's television website for anyone seeking clarity i am disappointed at how it is very comfortable for somebody in the rank of pajo ibukwe to deliberately distort facts for whatever reasons best known to him i challenge him to present where i made this statement in the interview asewaji is a well-respected leader across party lines and i even acknowledge his benevolence towards me in that interview but it's unfortunate that that did not interest pa ibukwe I am a known defender of President Buhari both in court of law and in public space. My reference to President's health was on the basis of his own statement that his age tells on his performance that he could have even performed more than he has done. How does referencing age and having personal preference for a younger and more competent person to become the next president of Nigeria translate to insult? And if I had quoted the many important responsibilities on the decks of the vice president as part of the reasons he has not officially declared to run for president, how does it mean to be saying another person is jobless? This is a matter, this is simply a matter of perspective of priority for Prof. Osibanjo as at this time. Therefore, Joe Bokwe should be bold enough to vent his thoughts and stand by them. He cannot stylishly hang his hidden thoughts on my open and harmless statement. For me, this puts a question tap on Bawa Ibukwe's loyalty to his mind and even his principal, Ajilo said. Some of the posts on Ibukwe's Facebook page were also targeted at the person of a human rights lawyer. Ajilo said that the 2023 presidential election cannot thrive on propaganda, saying that Nigerians were expecting campaign manifests to settle on real issues and how to set the country on the path of sustainable development. I am a noble man of conviction with a pedigree and I told the path of integrity. Pa Ibokwe thrive on causing unreasonable upheavals where simple understanding is needed. That is evident in many inciting statements that have been credited to him and the media. I don't understand what he stands to gain by misrepresenting my words to cause tension when there is none. I really do not understand what Pa Ibokwe meant with 
he will hear from us soonest. He should be reminded that I'm a lawyer and I don't take issues of threat for granted. So he has to be very deliberate about his statement as I urge that his principal to call him to order. The realities of 2023 election campaign is beyond campaign of calumny. Nigerians will only entertain issues-based campaign with practicable ways to tackling prevailing issues. This is a mere distraction. My position on 2023 presidential election is simple and clear. Prof. Yemi Osibanjo is the best option for APC and Nigeria, Ajilo added. You see, eh, I like the way they call them out. Ah, yeah, you know me, doom. It is giving me joy. Ah, the fact that the person said, Uncle, I'm respecting you, but you know, you have to be mindful of what you say. I am so, ah, I am so happy. <laughs> I know, I used to say that this man will buy case for himself. He is always, anyway, he will always go and munch whatever somebody wrote and he will repost on his page. I will comment, ah, ah, that's me. I have started asking, are you sure I'm not going to go and look for a job in the ministry of, uh, you know, uh, Lagos State? As it, I should just relocate to Lagos State now and go there so that they'll give me work. So that I'll have a lot of free time on my hands and they'll be paying me, they'll be still be paying me money. Yes, because he, he acts like he actually has enough, of, enough, enough time on his hands. That even issues, we have not, I've not seen him saying any, any issues on, you know, containing to water or drainage. No. Ha, I don't even think. If I have, maybe I've missed it because he hardly talks about it. The main work, what did he give this man? You know, Grid one. Yeah? Now, he don't go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Me could not leave Mazi Boku as Buari no give and tea and coffee. So now the only person where they give tea and coffee, a wedu and a mala, and they talk about Iboku is after his stomach. This person is pure savage. <laughs> hey, my God. Iboku is the only man that never see good in his people. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Kaya de Ajilo, why do you choose to call Pajo Iboku and refuse to extend your title to? I see why you bother. I met Tunumbu. I expected you to extend the path to Tunumbu too. If you call Pajo, <laughs> my God, <laughs> my stomach. If you call Pa Joe Ibukwe, you should be able to say Pa Bola Tunumbu as well. I be Joe Ibukwe on senior. I see why you in the new revised age game. <laughs> oh my goodness! So oh, these people will not kill me. Ah. When I never started the banter, yeah, the man will go take the position just the watch on her. When time reach, in go show. <laughs> on this note, we've come to the end of the news to say thank you for tuning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.